Welcome to live coverage of Tiger basketball on Republic Tiger Sports, a big COC showdown at Joplin tonight as the Tigers face the Eagles. This is a battle of teams that have ended one another's seasons four years in a row. And they are also teams that have never split their season series. The winner of the regular season game has gone on each time they've played again to win the second one. So this is an important one tonight. And we'll have it for you coming up here in a little bit. We're going to take a break and be back with our Repmo pregame show sponsored by Absolute Roofing after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. A winning team has strong players at every position. The Lori and Elizabeth real estate team has specialists in residential sales, land sales, lake sales, and commercial sales. Lori and Elizabeth are your connection to lenders, to marketers, and to contractors. From Springfield to Joplin to the lake and everywhere in between, they're your real estate teammates. Find them at lauriandelizabeth.reesnichols.com. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. Welcome back to the Absolute Roofing Repmo pregame show. David Brazil alongside Evan Smith. And Evan, we talked about the fact that these two teams have met twice each of the last four seasons. They have not split. And this is, again, two very good teams. I think the Tigers are better than they have been the last uh, four seasons, up in this being the fifth. And Joplin, about as good as ever, eight and four. And they've got a team that is experienced, although not necessarily senior laden, but they've got some experience out there. Yeah, this Joplin team is just full of athletes, if, just to put it simply. Um, they have All Right, who's been around for a uh, while now. He's been a starter since his freshman year, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then Quinn Renfro as well. And then Terrence Gibson and Whit Hafer are uh, two more names that we've seen over the years that have been able to do some damage on the Tigers as well. But they are going to be led by All Right, as he is their uh, top scorer on this team. And... and they're going to look to get him the ball tonight, but he has weapons all around that are able to shoot. Um, they had a big win the other night against Carthage a, uh, a, a dr in dramatic fashion as well. They were down by one with three seconds left after Carthage had just made a couple of free throws. And yeah, Quinn Renfro brought it up court and just about at the volleyball line from the opposite side of their own goal, he just kind of threw it up. It went in at the buzzer, and they were able to knock off Carthage by a score of 50 to 48. So they're coming off a dramatic win. Republic's coming off of a big win at Carl Junction, 20-point win the other night, 68-48 was the score of that one. But it, it should be a good one tonight as Joplin's no slouch. No, it should always seems like it's a good game when these two teams together uh, get together, and it should be that way again tonight. We're going to take one more quick break and be back with the starting lineups after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit, and we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Central Gas Propane is locally owned and operated and offers exceptional customer service when you need it most. They go the extra mile to meet their customers' needs with a level of service and communication that no other company can beat. 
Call today to switch and save Central Gas Propane at 417-725-3833 or online at centralgasmo.com. Tigers 13 and 1. They've won 12 in a row. And Joplin 8 and 4. And you heard Evan talk about their dramatic win over Carthage. So both these teams are 1 and 0 in conference play. And we'll let you listen in as they introduce starting lineups. At guard, Central Junior, number 13. Ashlawn Ibish. At guard, 601 sophomore, number two, Brentley Hagewood. At guard, 601 senior, number 10, Alante Askew. And at forward, a 605 senior, number 25, Kamari Edwards. Head coach for the Tigers is Tim Brown, assisted by Cale Ramsey, Josh Hart, and Tony Armstrong. And now, starting for the Joplin Eagles, at guard, a 5'10 sophomore, number 12, Cooper! Junior, number four, Quentin Riffro. Also at guard, six foot four, junior, number three, is all right. At four, six foot five, senior, number 44, Terrence Gibson. Number 54 is Win Paper. Head coach for the Eagles is Bronson Shockey, assisted by Lucas Dickerson, Nick Piper, and Jim Bradley. Pitch assistant, Jeremiah Brown. Our referees tonight are Ty Gates, Mike Coons, and Mike so a height advantage for Joplin is they start 6'4", 6'5", 6'7", among their five, but the tip controlled by Kamari Edwards, who got up a little quicker, and it ends up in the hands of Gunnar Ellison, and that's how the Tigers will start it. Askew gets it to Edwards, top of the key, dribbles it, hands it to Askew. He's left open, and he couldn't make the three. It rattled out. And quickly up the other way, and a block by Edwards, but a foul called on Edwards as he got back quickly to close, and that was good hustle by Kamari Edwards to get back. Let's take a look again. And he closed fast. 24, Kamari Edwards, his first foul 
first team foul. Terrence Gibson at the line. First free throw by Terrence Gibson is no good. Gibson, a 6'5 senior, one of two seniors on this roster. And he made that one barely. Rolled around and went through. So he's one of two, and it's one nothing. Joplin on top. A miss. And we're working on the scoreboard here at the same time as we're watching <laughs> watching the game because, of course, it always works all the way through the uh, all the way through the pregame, and then it stops working right when the game starts. So it's one nothing Joplin. And I'll try and give you the time here, but the back cut up and in by Terrence Gibson. So Gibson has three, and it's three nothing. Joplin. Brindley Haywood, baseline jumper, no good. Hafer comes away with the rebound. Gets knocked away by Ellison, but all rights able to come away with it. And the ball out of bounds goes back to the Tigers. And Edwards up the lane. He floated it up. It hit the front of the rim and fell off. And then he's fouled after grabbing the rebound. You know, Ellison was trying to get that ball to a cutting Askew, but it got knocked away by a Joplin defender oh, and then into the hands of Kamari Edwards. And he found the lane to be able to go up and put up a shot. They're going to say that foul was on the floor as well even though it did look like Edwards was going back up to shoot after he grabbed the board. Joplin up 3-0. Askew up the left side of the lane. Defender flew by and he threw it to Edwards. Nice move by Askew to find Edwards down low. And that makes it 3-2. All right's going to take a three-pointer on the other end. No good. Edwards able to come away with the rebound. We're going to say that he walked. So Joplin will throw it in left of the basket. That's all right. Guarded by Askew. He lobs it in to Terrence Gibson. Gibson hands it back to Wright. Wright steps inside the arc, puts up a jumper from 18, and it's good. Eagle basket by all. All right. right. First points for him. Makes it 5-2 Joplin. Edwards kicks it out to Ellison. Ellison's had a couple of good games in double figures in scoring the last two times out for the Tigers. And he had 14 at Carl Junction. Ebish shot fake. Drives to the wing, bounces it down to Edwards, and through his hands, not quite ready for that one. And it went out of bounds Edward back to Joplin. 4.44 left in the first quarter. Driving layup is no good, but a foul called on the Tigers. Republic, number 13, 
Foul is against Aslan Abish. First foul on him, second team foul against the Tigers. And Terrence Gibson back to the line. He was one for two his last time. First one good. Checking in for John Blinn, number 33, Fred Taylor. Well, with our problems and our inability to connect to the scoreboard camera here, we've backed the camera out a little bit so that you can see the clock uh, on the top of each backboard. They've got a clock. The lights are burned out, but I think you can make out what the time is. Gibson makes them both, and it's 7-2 Joplin. Ebish looked down low, bounces it once, throws it to Askew, passes up the shot. Askew between the circles comes to Hegwood. Hegwood between the legs with the dribble, fires it over on the sideline to Askew. Defender flew at him. He got away, drove to the baseline, bounces it back out to Ebish. Now to Rexroth, who's into the game. And then a long jumper from the sideline by Askew is off the mark. And Ellis had reached up to grab it. Couldn't quite get it. Public is number 20, Isaiah Neighbors. And it goes back to Joplin as Isaiah Neighbors checks back in. 3.55 left in the first quarter and a 7-2 lead for the Eagles. Gibson to Witt Hafer. And now they throw it to all right in front of the Republic bench as Jordan Douglas gets set to check in around a pick. Wright's jumper is off the mark, missed everything. A foul called against Hegwood, I believe. They're going to get him down low with a push. Bell Republic number two, Brentley Hegwood. His first Let's take foul, a look. Third well, we missed it. Foul. Too slow Check on the trigger there. Four, but yep, foul on him. And that's three fouls on the Tigers. And the inbound pass goes to Hafer. Hands it back to Fred Taylor. Taylor, a six-foot freshman, number 33, who's just checked in on the near side of the court. Now Gibson has it, throws it back to Taylor. He'll take a three. It's good. Nothing but net for three Fred Taylor. Point. And the three-pointer makes it 10-2 Joplin. And Tim Brown wants a timeout. 3.22 left in the first quarter. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In the Republic area, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Tigers with the ball as we return to action. And it's 10-2 Joplin. Quick start by the Eagles. Neighbors, ball above the head, throws it to Askew, goes to his left. Now back to his right, bounces it to Neighbors in the corner. Shot fake. Gibson didn't go for it. Now to ask you, top of the key. Back to Hegwood. Hegwood, jump stop in the lane. Scoops it up. No good. Somehow got it back. And then the follow by Rexroad. James Rexroad. First points for Rexroad. And that was a big offensive board for the Tigers. Trailing 10-2. Ask you about poke that one away. Three at the other end. No good, the Tigers on the run. Hegwood couldn't handle it on the first hop and then they had to reset. Askew goes to his left, weaves between the defenders, tries to draw contact, kicks it out to Jordan Douglas for three, good! Jordan Douglas with his first three. And just like that, it's 10 to seven. And those are just things that you need, especially when you're struggling offensively to start out a game. You get your shooter in there early. All right. From about 15 right. feet. And you get your shooter in there early, and, and that can get some things sparked yeah. for an offense. Askew thought about a three, goes around right, and a little dipsy doodle up off the glass and in. Alante Askew's first point, and that was a nifty move by Alante. 142 left in the quarter. All right, loses it on his way into the lane, up ahead to Hagwood. Protects the ball, scoops it up, drew contact, no call. And 
Then taken away by Askew, and Taylor gets it back for Joplin. Ball was flying around all over the place, and now a timeout called by Branch and Schnacke, the Joplin coach. 125 left to go in the first quarter. We'll take a break. 12-9 Joplin, back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Taylor Insurance is proud to sponsor Republic Tiger Sports. Since 1988, Tony Taylor and the people at Taylor Insurance have served Republic by protecting their clients just like they protect their own family members. And because it's an independent insurance agency, Taylor Insurance can offer you more options based on your specific needs. Call Taylor Insurance at 732-2345. That's 732-2345. And thanks to Taylor Insurance for sponsoring Republic Tiger Sports. Joplin has the ball as action resumes. One twenty left in the first quarter. And it's 12-9 Eagles. They led 12-2. Or 10-2, rather. Tigers have closed it down to a one-possession game. Jumper from the free throw line by Whit Hafer. Boy, if he can shoot out there, that's tough. And Hafer's first bucket makes it 14-9. Back to a five-point lead for the Eagles. Neighbors drives baseline and then to Rex Rote, who missed the shot in close. I think he was expecting the contact, and then Joplin throws it away. Tim Brown wasn't very happy with the no-call at the other end. And that's a couple of no-calls. 38 seconds left in the quarter. Douglas was more open than I think than he realized. Askew, shot fake, right goes in the air. And Askew, a little hesitation, and then kicked it to Rex Rode. He saved it inbounds, but it's going to go all the way up to all right. Who's going to lay it in? Oh, it's Hollis, Jones. Hollis Jones. Yep. Hollis Jones. Askew all the way in, and a chance for a three-point play by Alante Askew. That one deserves Askew another look. Right around Alante the first Alante defender, Alante tried to draw. Hobbs Gooch, Hobbs Gooch foul, tried to draw the foul now. and was unable to. Hobbs Gooch in now, number 24, in for the Joplin Eagles. Gooch, a 6'4 junior. Also, this Joplin Eagles quarterback in James Rexroad grabs the offensive board after the missed free throw and puts it in. There was only po .4 seconds on the clock. How did he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just oh my. reached up and grabbed it and got it in. And instead of a five-point deficit, it's only three. 16-13 is the score at the end of the first quarter. We'll take a break. And be back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m., or at 10.45 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From glasses, prescriptions, and contact lens fittings to emergency eye care, they help your family see, feel, and look better than they ever have before. Check them out online at visionhealtheyecenter.com. Chaplin gets the ball first to start the second quarter. And all right, 
working on Askew. Fadeaway jumper inside the free throw line, and that's good. By all right. All right has six points. And the lead back to five, 18 to 13. Askew backs it out. Double teamed. And now bounces it to Hegwood, who's left open. And the three rolled around, wouldn't go. Tipped. And up ahead to Gibson. Gibson loses it on the dribble partially, but Fred Taylor picks it up. Lost it again. It's on the floor. Gets it back. Up top. They swing it around to right. He's open from the arc. And that one's no good. Rebound to Whit Hafer. And he puts it back in. And the lead is seven. Ask you for a three. That is no good. And the Tigers get the offensive board. Six and a half left in the first half. Neighbors goes to the baseline and had it swatted from behind on his way in. Got knocked down after the shot, no call. And Taylor into the lane, jump stop, and it's knocked out of bounds off of Republic. Good play by Taylor to get over there and save it. And for the Tigers, number 13, Aslan Ibis. Quinn Renfro throws it to Terrence Gibson. Seven point lead in the ball for Joplin. All right, another fade away. That one's no good. Hagwood gets it, gets his lower half knocked out from under him. Again, no call. Down low to Rexroat. Rexroat up, missed another easy one. He's missed a couple of short shots, and he tracks down the loose ball. And they are really letting them go at it, and the Tigers have to adjust. And there's a foul and three free throws coming up for Brenly Hegwood as he went to the ground after getting hit. Rex wrote after he grabbed the loose ball, basically was stiff arming the defender <laughs> to get free. They no, didn't call anything on him one. either. Jones, his first foul, third and the Tigers just have to start Brindley adjusting Hagen to the style of play that's being free. allowed. First free throw is good by Brenly Hegwood. And that's his first point. 547 left in the first half. Second one, no good. In for Joplin's number 12, Cooper Williams. In for Republic number 24, Kamari Edwards. Kamari Edwards back in, and Rex Road sits down. Hagwood's next one, no good. He missed one of three, but. The rebound by Edwards. Missed, missed two of three, rather. And they throw it into Edwards, and a foul called against Joplin. Uh, Joplin, number 54, Whit Hafer. It's against His Whit Hafer. First foul, first foul on him. Fourth team foul. foul on Joplin. Ask you no look pass to Ebish who missed the layup. And Gibson gets the board up ahead to Renfro. Renfro working on Ellison, and he has his shot swatted authoritatively out of bounds by Kamari Edwards. Let's watch it. That's worth another look. I think that shot was going to miss everything, and then. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Edwards just went up and blocked it anyway. Yeah, it was kind of like it was a balloon just hanging in the air. They throw it into right, and he leans in. Shot goes out of bounds. I think and Edwards got a piece of that as well. Okay. I was wondering Edwards how that shot was you. so far off the mark. Let's see. Yeah, I couldn't tell from the replay. They get it into Hafer. He misses a layup, and then he puts it back up and in, and a chance for a three-point play. That's for Whit Hafer. Hafer is good. So he'll go to the free throw line with a chance to extend the lead. 13, Ashland, 
Dibish, his second foul, fourth team. Well, I don't know that he was fouled on the shot. I think he was fouled in the F, in the uh, act of rebounding. But he missed the free throw anyway. The Tigers trailing by eight. Down low to Hagwood. Alley-oop. He's fouled on the way up. And Hagwood with a chance for another three-point play. Let's watch the pass from Ebish. Now to Hagwood. And oddly there, it was the official up by half court that called that foul. That's not what you usually see either. Yeah, and I, I didn't think that there was a whole lot of contact there. So no. after after <laughs> the uh, allotted physicality kind of allowed to start the game, it seems like they're kind of starting to soften up a little bit. Yeah, I think they've decided they better try and get it under control. 22-17. Down to five. And Wright throws it to Renfro. Down low, a little hook shot is off the mark, and Rexroth grabs the rebound. I could see Joplin being a team that can either beat you by 20 or lose by 20, just based on the first quarter and a half. Uh, they have, they, they take a lot of high risk, high reward plays, and they've made some shots early, but uh, if they keep hitting, they're tough. But I could see it going south if they keep playing like they've been playing. And the Tigers start hitting some shots as well, because they've missed a lot of easy ones. Edwards spins in the lane and floats it up. Oh, that's as good a move as you'll see by a big man in high school. And he's got four points. Down to three, 22-19. Nearing the midway point of the second quarter. Joplin gonna slow it down, even with just 3.55 left to go here in the quarter. Well, they, they really only play seven, eight guys, really only seven that will usually score. So I guess that's the, the reasoning there. Now they're gonna run the offense and they get it to right. Pulls up from 17 and hits it. He's just making everything he throws up there. And he's a good player, but I can't see him shooting 100% with the shots he's taking. Five-point lead for Joplin again. Hegwood directs traffic with the left hand. Edwards came out to set a pick. They left Hegwood open. His long three is no good. High rebound, grabbed by all right. And back into the front court, up ahead to Gibson. Bounces at one time, and he's hacked from behind on the way up. I think by Kamari Edwards, and we'll go to the free throw line. It's hey, a we'll good pass. That, yep. Good Butler pass by Wright to bounce it up. And that's two fouls on Kamari Edwards. Team five team Gibson fouls on the foul. Tigers, five team fouls on Joplin, and with 3.02 left, Terrence Gibson back to the line. He's three for four from the line. Now make it three for five from the line. Tonight. In the game for Joplin, number 33, Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor checks back in. As well as neighbors in for, for the Tigers, number 20, Edwards. Isaiah Neighbors. Gibson missed that one badly. It's tipped around, and uh, Neighbors finally tipped it to Askew, who brings it into the front court. Five point lead for Joplin. Tigers trying to cut into it. They have not shot well so far. Askew, they swing it around to Neighbors on the wing. He drives baseline across the lane. Hegwood with a shot fake, pulls it back out to Douglas. Defender flies by, now to Askew, then to Rexroad. Rexroad in the corner. Now down low to Neighbors on the block. And then in the lane through the hands of Hegwood, but Rexroad goes out to get it. Pulls up with one hand and puts it in. Little right-handed jumper Rexroad from about 10. Nice shot by Rexroad. Down on the block, and then the kick out again to right. That time he missed, and Rexroth rises up to grab the rebound. 
Tigers could tie it with a three here. Neighbors had to save it, almost went off his leg out of bounds. Hegwood threw it a little high for Askew. Tigers just seem a little bit out of sync here. And we have learned our lesson, never set up our camera right next to an aisle. We were kind of, kind of forced over here on the side and we didn't think about the aisle being right by us. So there are a lot of heads passing through the shot. Sorry about that. Down to 120 left in the half and a three for Askew is good and we're tied. What an odd shot from Askew, just kind of. <laughs> yeah. Looked like he didn't really even know if he was gonna shoot it when he went up. Yeah. I, I thought he was making a pass initially, and then it just kind of started to stay on that line that he shot it on and went in. So the Tigers tie it up after trailing by as many as eight. And Maybe I think a walk, a walk Yeah, I think I'm sure that was a walk. Hobbs Gooch gets the bucket. And it's 26-24. So the Tigers have fought back from a slow start. At the free throw line, Askew picks it up, tried to bounce it down low, I guess to Rex Rote. Ball is tipped away, it's on the ground, and it's taken away by the Tigers. Askew, down to Rex Rote, and he missed another one. And then a foul, nope, a timeout, called by Joplin and Coach Branson, or Bronson Schnocky, a Schnocky rather, Bronson Schnocky. 25 seconds left, Joplin calls the timeout, they're up by two, we'll take a break. And be back with more after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Welcome back. Orthodontic 25 seconds left in the first half. And now let's take a look at that last score. Uncommon. Taylor in and yeah. He jump stopped and then he took another step. I, I am willing to go along with the jump stop uh, as a, you know, a concession to the fact that I'm an old man. And I, so I say the jump stop's okay now, but you can't take an extra step after your jump stop. That's my, I'm holding the line on that. Yeah, and I would agree that we probably saw that the other night as I went back and replayed <laughs> that video. And there was a moment in the Carl Junction game where it looked like she just kind of Walked wherever she pleased there for a split <laughs> second. I thought you were going to say that I would, I thought when you said I would agree, I thought you were going to say I would agree that you are an old man. <laughs> 25 seconds left in the half, and Joplin has it leading by two, 26-24. Tigers have trailed by as many as eight points in both the first quarter and the second quarter. A stop here would, it'd be real nice to go in down only by two after the way they played in the first half. All right, in the lane, and he hit the layup. Five seconds left, they've got time if they hurry up. And the long shot by Hegwood is nowhere near far enough. All right, has 10 points now. And it's a four point lead for Joplin at the break. 28 to 24. We'll take a break and be back with the Gold Medal Gym's halftime show after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Any day's a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Elliot Robinson & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And again this year, they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we take a look at the stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. ERCPA, named to accounting today's 2020 best accounting firms to work for. You can find them in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet or online at ERCPA.com. For more than 30 years, Yokum Automotive's been the hometown auto repair shop you can trust. And with their new digital vehicle inspections, their mechanics will show you exactly what's wrong with your car and let you sign off before the repairs are made. Ask about their shuttle service and loaner vehicles when scheduling your appointment online at yokumautomotive.com. 
No matter where this season takes you, the Bank of Missouri is cheering you on. We know a better life begins with a secure financial future. As a community bank, we work with you to understand your priorities and the changes that impact your finances. So wherever life takes you, we're here to be your trusted partner. Get started at bankofmissouri.com. Live well, play well, bank well. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Nobody has time for computer trouble, but when it happens, you want the work done quickly and by someone you can trust. Republic Technologies will fix your computer or laptop fast, and they'll fix it right. Whether you need repairs or a quality replacement for a computer that's seen better days, call Christopher Bell at Republic Technologies, 732-4300. That's Republic Technologies, 732-4300. At Pinnaker, customer satisfaction is our top priority. That's the Pinnaker Advantage. Pinnaker Family Style Service, serving Republic since 1979. Our knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks will make your car shopping experience easy. Whether you're looking to buy or sell your vehicle or needing service from our certified technicians, let our family take care of yours and find new roads at Pinnaker Chevrolet in Republic. Or view the complete inventory at PinnakerChevrolet.com. Pick Pinnaker every time! Not only can Hines Street Pharmacy deliver prescriptions right to your door and often save you money compared to what you're paying at big box pharmacies, their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, and now they're offering curbside flu shots. Hines Street Pharmacy, experience the hometown difference. Welcome back to the Gold Medal Gym's Halftime Show. Tigers trail it 28 to 24. Joplin outscored Republic 16 to 13 in the first quarter. And then Republic made it a little closer. They outscored Joplin 11 to 8 in the second quarter. And because of that, that means a $20 donation. No, nope, that's not right. My math's wrong. That's 12 to 11. I can't do math. But I'll go ahead and tell you anyway, even though that quarter doesn't earn a $20 donation, that Destiny Church is donating $20 for every quarter that the Tigers and the Lady Tigers do outscore their opponent. They're donating that money to the price tag and Locker 518. Those are free clothing uh, stores that offer clothing to students in the Republic School District that need it. It's a great cause and we appreciate Destiny Church for supporting that cause and for supporting Republic Tiger Sports. So it's 28-24, Joplin on top at halftime. And we'll give you individual scoring now. All right, leads all scorers with 10. Six points for Whit Hafer. Five points for Terrence Gibson. Three for Fred Taylor. Two for Collis Jones. And two for Hobbs Gooch. Republic got seven points from Alante Askew. Four from Brenly Haywood. Four from Kamari Edwards. Four from James Rexra. And three from Jordan Douglas. And they trail it at halftime, 28 to 24. We're going to take another break and be back with more of our Gold Medal Gym's halftime show after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. There was a time when these kids didn't have access to health care at school. If they needed a doctor, someone had to take them. Not anymore. In more than 15 counties throughout Missouri, Cox Health now offers virtual visits in school, so parents won't have to change plans or leave work to get their kids quality care. And kids? Well, they can get back to school and learning and thriving. 
virtual visits in schools from Cox Health. It's the right thing. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. A winning team has strong players at every position. The Lori and Elizabeth Real Estate team has specialists in residential sales, land sales, lake sales, and commercial sales. Lori and Elizabeth are your connection to lenders, to marketers, and to contractors. From Springfield to Joplin to the lake and everywhere in between, they're your real estate teammates. Find them at lauriandelizabeth.reesenichols.com. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at roccositalienkitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about retmo spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Central Gas Propane is locally owned and operated and offers exceptional customer service when you need it most. They go the extra mile to meet their customers' needs with a level of service and communication that no other company can beat. Call today to switch and save Central Gas Propane at 417-725-3833 or online at centralgasmo.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In the Republic area, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Welcome back to the Gold Medal Gym's Halftime Show. Tigers trailing by 4, 28-24 to Joplin. And it was not a very pretty first half. Evan Smith, what do the Tigers need to do better in the second half? Now, I think offensively they uh, they struggled a little bit in trying to find like passing lanes maybe. Uh, um, some some errant passes that they were able to recover from, but, but just not playing clean in that aspect of the of their game. Um, and then they just kind of struggle to get open to even take shots uh, when they do shoot it. I, I don't necessarily think that they're shooting terrible right now, but but they're they're just struggling to, to get open. So I wonder if maybe offensively they're going to be able to come out. And uh, Tim Brown probably has some things up his sleeve offensively uh, with just different different sets and everything to, to yeah. get his guys open. Shooting, the shooting to me probably seems a little worse than it maybe was because of the shots they did miss. I mean, they missed they missed three or four layups. Very close shots, yeah. And you got to hit those against a team like Joplin. And meanwhile, at the other end, Joplin, Joplin missed a lot of shots, but they weren't high percentage shots. Uh, so I, they were kind of... Joplin shots look like the kind of shots you would expect to make a low percentage of. And they were making a lot of them. So I don't know. I, I feel for a four-point deficit, I feel relatively good about the second half. We'll see what happens. But uh, I don't know. I have, uh, have some confidence that those adjustments you talked about at halftime uh, will turn things around in the second half. But Tigers will have their hands full because Joplin remains a good team. And it'll be tough to come back from a four-point deficit in the second half. We're going to take another quick break. Be back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. 
Taylor Insurance is proud to sponsor Republic Tiger Sports. Since 1988, Tony Taylor and the people at Taylor Insurance have served Republic by protecting their clients just like they protect their own family members. And because it's an independent insurance agency, Taylor Insurance can offer you more options based on your specific needs. Call Taylor Insurance at 732-2345. That's 732-2345. And thanks to Taylor Insurance for sponsoring Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m., or at 10.45 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From glasses, prescriptions, and contact lens fittings to emergency eye care, they help your family see, feel, and look better than they ever have before. Check them out online at visionhealtheyecenter.com. Oh, my! Back to action, and what a finish by Kamari Edwards. That lane just opened right up. Nobody <laughs> filled it, and Kamari Edwards went in and just slammed it down. So down to 2, 28-26. That happened so fast, I was still doing some halftime housekeeping with the books. And a little energy for the Tigers. And a miss. Ball is tipped, and it's touched last by Joplin, Quinn Renfro. And the Tigers a chance to tie or even take the lead. Edwards hands it off to Askew. He takes the three. It's good, and the Tigers are on top. 29-28. And looking at these first couple possessions, this is an offense that we normally see out of the Tigers that I don't think we saw a lot of in the first half. Um, giving it to Kamari at the top of the key and then yep. letting letting him set up the pat play yep. because he is such a, I mean, for a big guy, he is good court vision. He oh, makes yeah. some good passes and is able to find some guys. So, Hagwood called for the foul. It, it makes you think that maybe they had some stuff that they thought might have worked against Joplin and, to start yeah. out, and it wasn't. So then yeah. Tim Brown might yeah, have right. just gone into halftime and said, "Hey, we're going to go Let's back go to back. What, we're going to go back to what we know," and a lot of times that works for some teams. Yeah. Renfro with his first point on the first free throw makes it 29 each, and the next one is good. So he made them both, and Joplin back on top. 31-29. Edwards looked inside. He'll take it up the lane again, and that one is good! And he's fouled a chance for a three-point play. And I don't think that, I think the Tigers have also come to the conclusion Whit Hafer cannot stay with Kamari Edwards. Yeah, um, Kamari's been guarding Terrence Gibson down on the other end of the court, but on this end of the court, they've been putting Hafer on the big guy, uh, obviously, because Hafer is 6'7", but. Yeah. Kamari just so much more athletic and just move a little bit quicker than Hafer probably can. Missed the free throw, so we're tied again. Down at the other end, layup rolls over and goes in. Joplin got the break on that one. And Joplin back ahead. Thirty-two, thirty-one. 
Ebish between the circles. Goes to his left, throws it to Ellison in front of the Republic bench. And then down low, they tried to hit Hagwood. It's touched last by Hafer, according to the official. I think Hafer thought Hagwood touched it. And actually, I thought Hagwood had touched it on the way out. And that's a matchup. Hagwood might have won right there. Yeah. They did. A, they had a defensive switch. They had to. And Hafer ended up on Hagwood. And Ellison was wide open on the three and just hit the back of the rim with the shot. So Joplin, a one-point lead in the ball. Gibson backs it in. They throw it to all right. He drives. Turnaround jumper, no good. Way off, and it goes out of bounds. Back to Republic. That's the kind of shot that all right was taking in the first half, but, but he, he was, was smishing them. Those, yeah. yeah. Uh, and some of them have been kind of off balance and rushed, and I was surprised that they were going in at such a high rate. Now, we'll see if that continues, and it may. Oh, what a find by Askew to Ebish down low. Just Ebish wasn't able to handle the pass, but Ebish found that lane. He was wide open. Douglas going to check in now for Ebish. Renfro's going to bring it to the front court for the Eagles. 32-31 Joplin. Right, a little pick and roll, and a charge. Jordan Douglas took the charge, and the Tigers get the ball back. I thought they were going to get, I, I think it was Kamari on the backside of that play there. He was behind. Yeah, I thought there wasn't a lot of contact there from Edwards, but. The second foul on Terrence Gibson. And Hegwood, top of the key, now to Douglas. Bounces it down to Edwards. Goes right around Gibson and missed the layup. It was a reverse layup, a tough shot. That was not like the layups they missed in the first half where they were pretty much point blank shots. That time he just was kind of too far under and it was a tough angle. Yeah. Fred Taylor will check in. Good defense from Gibson there as well, trying to, yeah. forcing Kamari to come to the other side of the lane to try and take that shot. Joplin with a one point lead. And Republic lobs it all the way up top to Douglas. And he'll throw it to Askew to set things up. Hagwood in front of the Tiger bench, takes it to the baseline, pulls up from 10, no good. Ellison tried to tip it, but couldn't get high enough to take it away from Gibson. And all right into the front court. Pull up jumper from the free throw line, that one's no good. And they call a foul on someone for Republic. Got Edwards with a foul. On the Tigers, number 24, Kamari foul. Edwards. His third foul, second. Oh, boy. I don't even <laughs> think he touched him. But. All right is at the line for drop play. So all right goes to the line. Right has 12. Edwards has three fouls now. Three fouls on Edwards. First free throw good by all right. And for Republic is number 12, James Retro. All right must be living right. He has gotten a few rolls tonight. And he'll take one more. That one's no good. And Rex wrote with the rebound. 421 left in the third quarter. It's a two-point lead for Joplin. Tigers briefly took the lead earlier in this quarter for the first time. On a three-pointer by Alante Askew. But they've gone silent offensively since then. They've got only five in the quarter. And we reach the midpoint of the quarter, 4.01 left. Rex Schrode at the top of the key, gives it to Askew, he's open from three, and he hit another one. Same play as before, only that time it was Rex Schrode who gave him the ball instead of Edwards. And Askew open, and the Tigers back on top, 34-33, a miss, Gibson with a rebound, and he can't put it back in. They're going to get Ellison with the foul. Republic, one, First foul on Gunnar Ellison. Foul and Terrence third. Gibson goes to the free throw line. Gibson has made three free throws tonight. He's three of five Terrence from the line. the line. 
And that one no good. Gibson's shots, free throws are flat. Yes. Not much arch to them. Every yes, time one was, goes in, I'm a little surprised. I was noticing that the other day whenever they were playing Carthage, she just kind of, it's. Kind of pushes it at the basket. Yeah. He's tall enough that he gets a little height on it anyway, but yeah. You don't get a very friendly roll when you don't have any arch on the ball like that. Ask you. Oh, the give and go down to Hangwood on the cut. And that was the play that they had just a little bit ago, but the pass just went right through Ebish's hand. But Hagwood able to handle the pass this time around and lay it up and in. Three-point lead is the biggest of the night for the Tigers. Can Fred Taylor answer? No. And it is saved right back to Rex Road. And he gets it to Askew, and the Tigers bring it into the front court. Askew directs traffic. Pulls it out on the dribble, under three to go in the third quarter. And now Rex Road again. Neighbors open, takes the three. No good, too long, and it was knocked away from Rex Road. Had it briefly, and then Joplin threw it away. Tried to throw it to right. It was too far out in front of him, and it goes out of bounds with 2.36 left in the third quarter. Yeah, and Hagwood and Rex Road just kind of ran into each other, and I think Hagwood got poked in the eye or hit in the eye, so ref Fish. going over to check on him. Says he's fine. Hagwood wants no part of it. He's like, I'm staying in. You don't need to look at me. I'm, go I'm okay. Askew bounces it to Hagwood. Now to Askew. Top of the key, around a pick from Rex Road. Uh, almost pulled up for a long three. Instead throws it to Hagwood. And again, they give it to Askew. That one's off the mark, and a rebound grab by Fred Taylor. He speeds into the front court, all the way in, passes it across to Gibson, who lays it up and in. By that ends a little drought by the Eagles, and they're within one, 36-35. Boy, it always comes down to the end with these two. 153 left in the third quarter. Neighbors in front of the Republic bench. Oh, and Hagwood got loose down low again, and he is hacked from behind by Collis Jones. Jones got a little of the ball and a lot of Hegwood's arm. Well, drop on number one, Collis Jones, his second foul, third team foul. And Brindley Hegwood. And Hegwood goes to the line with 145 left in the third quarter. And the Tigers leading by one. And he made the free throw. Check in for Joplin number four, Quentin Rinsman. Hagwood made them both. Back to a three point lead for the Tigers. 140 left in the third. Renfro to the left block, passes across the lane, knocked away by Jordan Douglas. Douglas got a hand on the pass. It went to Rex Road. He hands it off to Askew, and the Tigers have a three-point lead in the ball. What was Douglas doing down there? I, <laughs> I, I, was, I had to do a double take to see if that was actually him when he grabbed the ball. Oh, Hagwood right around his man. Explosive first step by Brindley Hagwood. And that's six points for him in the quarter, 10 in the game. A three at the other end is good by all right. All right answers. And makes it 40 to 38. Tigers briefly led by five. Now with 52 seconds left, Askew will dribble it out near half court and wait to see if the defense comes to get him. Now Wright will come out. He throws it over to Hegwood. Now to Douglas, back to Askew, under 40 seconds left to go. Douglas holds it down below his waist, down to 30. Throws it across to Hagwood with 25. Rex wrote down on the baseline. Neighbors in the near corner. Now he's going to cut across to the far corner. Douglas in the near corner. 
in case they leave him open. Down to 12. Hegwood. Looking for someone to come open. Goes right up the left side. Scoops it up. And it's no good. And out of bounds, it's going to be the Tigers' ball. Because all right came back in bounds and touched the ball instead of letting it go. So the Tigers, with one second left exactly, will get another opportunity. Wright was standing out of bounds and came back in. And so now, what do the Tigers do here? Askew. If Askew throws it in, he's not taking the shot. There's not time for that. They get it into Douglas in the corner. No good off the front of the rim. And we go to the end of the third. The Tigers finally have the lead at the end of the quarter. It's 40-38 Republic. We'll take a break and be back with a fourth quarter after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Gold Medal Gyms is where Republic athletes build a foundation for future success. Whether it's gymnastics, cheerleading, or tumbling, young athletes learn skills that prepare them to take on virtually any sport they choose. Sign up for your free trial at their gorgeous facility at Highway 60 and Highway M. Gold Medal Gyms, raising the bar for Republic athletics. Any day's a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Elliot Robinson & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And again this year, they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we take a look at the stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. ERCPA, named to Accounting Today's 2020 Best Accounting Firms to Work For. You can find them in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet or online at ERCPA.com. Ready to go in the fourth quarter. Joplin gets the ball first. Republic on top, 40-38. to 38. And they go down to Gibson. He gives it back to Wright, who splits a couple of defenders, lays it up, and got the roll again. Eagle basket by all. And we're all tied. 40 to 40. That's 18 points now for all right. Hegwood to Douglas. They got out on him that time. And the ball tipped away by Taylor. Goes out of bounds, stays with the Tigers. Just a little bit of a pass that. Needed a little more care, and it was tipped away, but Taylor couldn't track it down. 7.26 left in the game, and we're all tied at 40. Tigers outscored Joplin 16-10 in the third quarter as Hagwood goes around his man again and lays it up and in. 12 points for Hagwood. Seems like he's got a lot more, but he's got... Got eight of them in the second half. Wright's three is off the back of the rim. Oh, Taylor went up over Douglas and grabbed the rebound. That was a big play, but then he threw it right to Askew. And Askew's going to take it all the way in, and he's fouled from behind on the floor. That's going to be five team fouls on Joplin. And it's 42-40, Republic on top. They'll throw it in right of the basket. Foul was on Taylor. Askew will throw it in. Neighbors in the corner here on the near side. And they bounce it into Hagwood, who just turns around and makes the jumper. Brindley Hagwood on fire, up to 14 points. And it's 44 to 40. Down low, quick foul at the other end. And back to the line goes Terrence Gibson. Man, I think I'd, until I had fouls I couldn't give anymore, I think I had Hack him every time he gets the ball down there. Make him go to the free throw line. Rexford commits the foul. One thing the Tigers have against this bigger lineup that they haven't had in previous years is they've got two big guys who can match up inside. And that hasn't been the case, but Gibson made the first free throw. Yeah, Rexford and Kamari both done a great job today being able to match up down low and oh, yeah. 
and get things done. And it, it's the little things that don't show up in the scorebook that they've done tonight. Have they both been able to find Delonte or, or Hagwood or anybody else um, with some assists with that play that they have. Defender flew by Askew and he just calmly said, well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to stop here and shoot. And it's 46-42, back to a four-point lead. Taylor passed up the three, took it into the lane, forced it up, no good. Rex wrote with a board. Tigers can take their biggest lead with a bucket here. Ellison will check in after the next opportunity. 6.07 left. Around a pick, Askew throws it to Hegwood. Hegwood will take a three, that one's no good. And a rebound to Gibson. Gibson hands it off to right, and he brings it up the far sideline. Still a four-point lead for the Tigers, down to 5.50 left in the game. Wright goes around a couple of men, scoops it up, got it to go, and he drew the foul as well. I'm not sure who was even close enough to foul him down there. I think they got it on Neighbors, maybe. Or on Jordan Douglas, rather. Oh, that is a bad call. That is... Douglas, I don't think, did touch him. Watch it again. Watch Douglas, number four, come in from behind. It didn't even, it looked like he was shadowing him. It didn't even look yeah. like. He wasn't really defending him. <laughs> he was trying to get back to grab the rebound. Maybe somebody else fouled him, but that's a tough break for Douglas as he picks up the foul. And right with the three-point play. Makes it 46-45. And a timeout on the floor with 5.47 left to go. We'll take a break and be back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. For more than 30 years, Yokum Automotive has been the hometown auto repair shop you can trust. And with their new digital vehicle inspections, their mechanics will show you exactly what's wrong with your car and let you sign off before the repairs are made. Ask about their shuttle service and loaner vehicles when scheduling your appointment online at yokumautomotive.com. No matter where this season takes you, the Bank of Missouri is cheering you on. We know a better life begins with a secure financial future. As a community bank, we work with you to understand your priorities and the changes that impact your finances. So wherever life takes you, we're here to be your trusted partner. Get started at bankofmissouri.com. Live well, play well, bank well. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Welcome back. And we are having some internet issues, so if things get a little weird, it's probably not you, it's probably us. We are recording. Hagwood will take a three from the corner, and he banged it in. Brindley Hagwood, another bucket. And that makes it 49-45, back to a four-point lead for Republic. Taylor tries to answer, and he misses. And a rebound by Hafer. He took it away from Edwards. Right drives into the lane, poked away from him by Askew. So anyway, as I was saying, if if things we'll keep streaming as much as we can. If things do go bad, don't worry, we'll have a recording and we'll upload the full thing later. Askew tried to poke it away from. Right, and that one rattled around. That's the first time he hasn't gotten a roll all night. That one almost went in. And I started to reach over to just click the two on my scoreboard <laughs> yeah. to Look, give him the points. Looked like it was going in, but didn't. And Askew 
Out of a double team all the way into the lane. Got bumped backwards. No call. Three from the corner off the back of the rim. And the rebound to Collis Jones. Gets it to right. Up ahead to Taylor. Taylor on the arc. Down low to Gibson. And Edwards muscles him and pushes him around. He's got nowhere to go and has to give it up. And they get it to right to reset. 4.29 left in the game. Around a pick. Right into the lane, one-hander, no good, and Edwards grabs a rebound, and that time Joplin wanted a foul called and didn't get it. Bronson Shockey, not happy with that. And into the front court comes Gunnar Ellison. Ellison to Askew. Down to 4.07 left in the game. Tigers a four-point lead in the ball. Askew a long three. That one's no good, and it hits the backboard and falls out of bounds. Retreat to the game from Joplin, number four, Quentin Renfro. Looking at the score, uh, the scoring by All Right, you'd, you'd think that, as I think Republic called a timeout, or maybe that was Shockey, Coach Shockey of Joplin, but uh, just looking we'll go at, ahead and keep it here. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, looking at the scoring by All Right today, you'd think that the Tigers have struggled defensively against them, but I think that they've done a rather good job with Alante Askew. Um, kind of, he hasn't necessarily been face guarding him, but uh, he's done a very nice job on him, and he's forced All Right to take those kind of bad looking shots. But as we've been talking about, All Right's just been getting the rolls somehow. And yeah. But it's, that's not to take away from what the Tigers' defense has been able to, I mean, I guess, prevent him from taking clean shots tonight, but he's still yeah. able to make shots fall. It's one of those things where perfect offense beats perfect defense. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, if you can hit hit the shot with the guy in your face, sometimes there's nothing the defense can do. Joplin with the ball trailing by four after the miss from Askew. Four minutes exactly left to go in this game. Tigers trying to win their 13th in a row on Friday the 13th. And it was Republic that did take that timeout. Tigers with three timeouts left and Joplin with two. Right, was double teamed briefly. Now Taylor throws it to Gibson. Little running one-hander, no good. The ball is tipped and grabbed by Hagwood and the Tigers another chance to build on a four-point lead. They've had multiple chances to get it to six or seven and haven't been able to convert. Let's see if they can do it here. Ellison throws it to Hagwood between the circles. He goes to his right, and now he's going to go right up the lane and kick it out. Rexroth intercepted the pass that was intended for Askew. Askew will go to the free throw line and throw it back to Hagwood. Down to 3.05 left in the game. Hagwood around a pick from Rexroth. Now throws it to Ellison. Now back to Askew. 2.55 left. Tigers in no hurry now, leading by four. Hegwood grabs the pass. And now Askew. And he goes right around his defender, pulls up inside the free throw line, left it short. Great look, and just left it a little bit short. On the front of the rim, Gibson had it poked away. He lost it. He picks it back up, leans in, gets fouled as he goes up for a shot. And I think that's going to be four on James Rexra. Second on James Rexra. Edwards had three. Oh, going into that's that. right. Yeah. But they are playing both Edwards and Rexroad out there right now. Yeah. With Gibson and Hafer both out there as well. So all four big men from both teams all on the court at the same time. And Gibson missed. And I would say that probably has to do one or the other coaches decided, well, we've got to do this. I think the Tigers, if if you force Hafer and Gibson on the floor at the same time, I think that's advantage Tigers. I don't think Republic, and now it, yeah, Edwards, Edwards comes leaves, out. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I think if if those two, give me Republic's two guys on the floor at the same time, uh, the two big guys anytime. Yeah, I just the think that two. they're a little more athletic than, than the big guys yep. from Joplin, and, and Republic's been able to use that to their advantage. Tonight. Gibson missed both free throws, and so with 2.22 left, it's a four-point lead in the ball again for Republic. This is going to be one that if they don't win this, there are going to be a lot of what-ifs through this stretch of the fourth quarter. They've had plenty of chances. 
Askew pulls it out down to 2.05 left. Goes around his man again. Kicks it to Ellison. And he pulls it out. Tim Brown trying to direct his players where to be on the floor. 150 left. Askew again. Got around all right. Pulled it back out. Hegwood comes out. Jab step by Askew and then pulls it back and gives it to Douglas. Douglas back to Askew with 139 left. They're going to make Joplin foul if they don't get a lane to the bucket. Askew around right again. Gets separation. Goes around him again. Pulls up at the free throw line. Kicks to Douglas. Douglas passed, open, passed up a wide open three. That is the most wide open Jordan Douglas has ever been without shooting. <laughs> Uh, unless there were like less than 10 seconds left and it was the last possession. <laughs> that took every bit of willpower that Jordan Douglas had. 126 remaining and they get Rex Rohn and he hit it. Oh, how did they not call a foul on that as well? He was getting pushed from the, yeah. pushed in the back as he shot it. But it's a six point lead for the Tigers and now Wright answers at the other end. So Wright's bucket makes it four, 51-47, and a timeout called by Joplin. We'll take a break and be back with more. There's 115 left in the game and a four-point lead for the Tigers. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. At Pinnegar, customer satisfaction is our top priority. That's the Pinnegar Advantage. Pinnegar Family Style Service, serving Republic since 1979. Our knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks will make your car shopping experience easy. Whether you're looking to buy or sell your vehicle or needing service from our certified technicians, let our family take care of yours and find new roads at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. Or view the complete inventory at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Pick Pinnegar every time. Not only can Hines Street Pharmacy deliver prescriptions right to your door and often save you money compared to what you're paying at big box pharmacies, their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, and now they're offering curbside flu shots. Hines Street Pharmacy, experience the hometown difference. Tigers up by four, trying to go to 2-0 and in the COC, and as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, win their 13th in a row. Gunnar Ellison will throw it in, and he gets it into Hegwood in the backcourt. Back to Ellison, now to Hegwood. They need to get it across here in second. And they do, Askew takes it into the front court, and he's pushed from behind by all right. So that is six team fouls. That's a first foul on right. And is that five or six? Five team fouls. So they've got a foul again. And Republic lobs it in to Douglas. And he calls timeout. So they'll take a 30 second timeout and we'll keep it right here. So the. the Easier to get it in when you throw it into the backcourt like that. But then you've got to contend with a 10-second right. call. Yeah. So yeah. you can't just stand there and hold it. You've got to do something to move it up court, and then Douglas got caught. Right. And Joplin defense um, able to kind of trap him back there as well, as yep. well as defend the two, two Tigers that were back there in the backcourt with him. But, you know, I was just thinking about this. Joplin's been in this situation quite a bit this season. If you look at their scores, they've played in tons of close games, and their four losses, I think, are by a total of less than 15 points. I think they lost by wow. one a couple of times. I think they lost by three one time, and then six or seven another time. Um, so it's it's – and then their wins are kind of similar in the same way. They just beat Carthage by two, but yep. a lot of their wins have been like that. They haven't had a lot of wins where – they, they've necessarily, I mean, they've done it a couple of times, but against better opponents, they've yet to beat a team by, I think, more than 10. That's probably is a winning record. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of like uh, earlier I said it's a team that they could beat you. They could beat probably anybody, and they could also lose to just about anybody. And they've been in all their games. Ellison will throw it in in the backcourt now, and he throws it in to Ebish. Boy, 
Tigers were lucky there that Rexroat didn't tip it. Rexroat thought the pass was to him. And he jumped up. And I was afraid he was going to tip it over the head of Ibish and it was going to go out of bounds. 54 seconds left. Now Republic will be shooting when they get fouled. So they get it into Hagwood. And he's immediately fouled with 53 seconds even left on the clock. And he'll go down to the free throw line. Foul is on Terrence Gibson. That's four on him. Based on Gibson's reaction, I don't think he wanted to foul quite yet. Uh, he, he looked over at his coach, and I think the coach maybe, Coach Shockey, probably said, like, we don't want you to do that yet. <laughs> They're still in the backcourt. So three of six, or three of five from the line tonight is Brenly Hagwood, and he makes that one. He made, uncharacteristically, made only one of three earlier when he was fouled on a three-point shot after going, I think, nine for nine or eight, ten for ten the other day at Carl Junction. Yeah. And he made that one, got the roll. And it's a six-point lead again for the Tigers, equaling their biggest of the night. Right, harassed by Askew. Now they throw it over on the wing to Renfro. His three is good. A quick timeout Renfro. called by Joplin. It's down to a one possession game as Renfro hits his first field goal of the night. Full a three pointer with 43 Joplin. seconds left, and Joplin calls a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. There was a time when these kids didn't have access to health care at school. If they needed a doctor, someone had to take them. Not anymore. In more than 15 counties throughout Missouri, Cox Health now offers virtual visits in school, so parents won't have to change plans or leave work to get their kids quality care. And kids, well, they can get back to school and learning and thriving. Virtual visits in schools from Cox Health. It's the right thing. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. All right, let's set the scene. 43.2 seconds left. Tigers up by three, 53 to 50. Republic has two timeouts left. Joplin is out of timeouts. And Republic will throw it in with the length of the floor to go to their bucket. Gunnar Ellison will throw it in. And he does get it into Hagwood. Oh, and he, he stepped, stepped out of bounds. On the sideline. Hagwood doesn't think he did. Oh, I think Hagwood is saying he slipped. And now they're gonna bring over a towel. And Tim Brown is going to have a problem with this. If he slipped because he stepped on the wet floor and his foot slipped to the sideline, and now they wipe up the water on the sideline, oh that is, you know, that's an issue. But I guess there's nothing you can do about it. I don't know if there's a rule about that, but that is a tough break for the Tigers. Even Tony Armstrong got up and I think started <laughs> to yell about it a little bit. So Whit Hafer will throw it in, and Joplin can tie the three by... All right is no good on the rebound to Ebush. She throws it to Askew, oh who is knocked down, and there's no call. And Tim Brown is hot over. He ran all the way out to half court as Askew was bumped down. And so Tim Brown is upset about that, and Joplin will throw it in quickly. They've got no timeouts left. They get it into Taylor. Cross court to Renfro, same spot as before he hit the three. three so the Tigers with 24 Renfro. seconds left have the ball back. Ebish throws it to Ellison. He gets it into the front court. 18 seconds left. Rexro now to Ebish. Ebish bounces it to Ellison, and he is fouled on the way up, and he'll go to the free throw line with 10.7 seconds left. We're all tied at 53. Back-to-back -back threes by Joplin have tied it in the final minute. And now Ellison 
will shoot free throws and Terrence Gibson has fouled out. That's the eighth team foul. Isaiah Neighbors will check in. And let's see who's checking out. Ebish will check out. 10.7 seconds left. We're tied at 53. Six straight by Joplin on two threes by Quinn Renfro. Ellison's first free throw is good. Nothing but net for the senior, Gunnar Ellison. He hadn't scored until then, and he stepped up and knocked it down. He's got one more. Tigers have to guard against the three. Again, Joplin, no timeouts. They'll have to go up and get off a shot. Second free throw, good. And, well, they won't have to go up and get off a shot because Tim Brown wants to set the defense as the Tigers have retaken the lead, 55-53. We'll keep it right here. And Evan Smith, what do you do defensively? What do you think Tim Brown is telling his team as they talk about how to defend this up by two? Well, you know, normally you'd want to guard the perimeter if you're up by uh, three or four, but um, they're only up by two now. So never mind. They do. They would want to guard the perimeter now that I think about it. Uh, I guess, but down again, low. The, you can't just sell out and only guard the perimeter. Right, yeah. So, yeah, you're right. That, that does pose a little dilemma. They've I, got I, shooters. I don't think that they're going to want to come out and into a press, though, however, as, as that might open someone up down on the other end of the court. I think they will press. You I think, think so? they'll try and slow things down and speed up Joplin. 10.7 10 seconds left, yeah. Uh, if you, to me, the, and the, I think the reasoning for some kind of pressure is you get them out of sync before they can get into the front court. All night, too, Gibson has been the one that they've been throwing it all the way across the court yeah. to, and now Gibson's out, and it's Hafer down there, and well, they're just going to right bring Elante Askew out to guard yeah. the. No, and then. So Wright brings it up, and I think they're going to foul. They're bumping. He gets a three, and it's off the mark. It's tipped. It's put back up and in as time was expiring, and we're going to overtime. Let's watch the sequence again. The three by right, no good. Taylor somehow got it as he was falling down with less than a second left, and they tie the game, and we're going to overtime. 55-55. We'll take a break, catch our breaths, and be back with the overtime period after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. A winning team has strong players at every position. The Lori and Elizabeth Real Estate team has specialists in residential sales, land sales, lake sales, and commercial sales. Lori and Elizabeth are your connection to lenders, to marketers, and to contractors. From Springfield to Joplin to the lake and everywhere in between, they're your real estate teammates. Find them at laurieandelizabeth.reesenichols.com. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at roccositalienkitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. We're now ready for 23 points overtime. for All Right. 19 for Brindley Hagwood. And 15 for Elante Askew. Joplin playing without Terrence Gibson, who has fouled out. We're in overtime. And the tip controlled. By Joplin. Fred Taylor, fadeaway jumper is no good. Ellison grabs a rebound. Tigers get a stop on their first defensive possession of the overtime. And Ellison brings it into the front court.
Hegwood, he jump, uh, takes the jumper, and his is good from about 18 feet. Brindley Hegwood has 21, and the Tigers take the lead, 57-55. Now right into the lane, left it short, ball is tipped around, and it goes to Quinn Rimpro, who puts it back up and in, 57-57, down to 309 left in the overtime period. Ellison to Rexroad. Rexroad hands it off to Askew. They stayed with him that time. And he pulls up from the free throw line. That one's no good. Ball is tipped. Ellison goes to the floor, but Renfro comes away with it. Joplin a chance to take the lead. 2.44 left in the overtime. Around a pick from, uh, from uh, Hafer and a long rebound. And then it's tipped away from Joplin, and it goes on the floor and alternating possession goes back to Republic. That was a crazy sequence. I was having a hard time keeping up with everything going on there. Yeah, all right, just couldn't gain possession. After this pass right here, he kind of just couldn't handle it, and then it eventually ended up being a jump ball. Hagwood couldn't grab it either. It went right to Hagwood briefly. Tigers with the ball, and it's tied. 2.20 left, Askew into the lane. He's fouled on the way up, and he'll shoot two. Hafer's fourth. And I didn't see a lot of contact on that foul either. But a chance for Askew to shoot free throws here. Askew with 15 points. All tied up, 2.17 left in the overtime period. The free throw good by Askew. 16 for him now. Neighbor's gonna check in. Douglas gonna check out. I think Tim Brown might play the offense-defense game here yeah, makes sense. in this overtime period. Tim Brown's still having a conversation with the official about something. Both free throws good. Tigers back on top by two. 59-57, 2.14 left in overtime. All right, brings it into the front court. Hafer sets a pick, and now he's going to go to the other side. Askew stays with Wright. A running one-hander is good by All Wright. That was a nice shot. 25 for All Wright, tied up at 59. 157 left. Tigers in the front court. Hagwood throws it to Neighbors. Neighbors ball above the head. Down to Rex Road. Turns, waits for somebody to come get it, puts it on the floor one time, throws it to Askew. Askew goes to his right. All right is guarding him. Down to 137 left. Tigers pull it out. Tim Brown calls the play. Rexroat near the top of the key. Looks like he's about to set a pick, and he does. Askew gets around his man, throws it to Hagwood in the corner. He pulls it out. Hesitation dribble goes to the free throw line, turns, throws it to Ellison. Ellison drives in, scoops it up, and Hafer saved it, and then it's knocked out of bounds. It'll go back to Joplin with 114 left. Falling out of bounds, Joplin saved it in after the block. And Joplin with 112 left in the overtime, a chance to take the lead, all tied at 59. Right. Goes in the lane, scoops it up, missed the shot, but he goes to the free throw line with 56.7 seconds left. Well, it was two threes by Quinn Renfro in the final minute. Joplin got a couple of breaks, and Renfro capitalized on them by hitting the shots. And all right at the line, working on a 25-point night. First free throw is good. Douglas getting ready to, Douglas now checking in for Republic. So he's in for neighbors. Joplin leads for the first time in the overtime period. 60 to 59 with right at the line, trying to make it a two point lead. No good, he missed it. So 60, 59, the Tigers can take the lead with a bucket. Need a good possession, ask you. Tigers have two timeouts left, one left for Joplin as they got the extra timeout for the overtime period. 
Down to 37 seconds left. I wonder if the Tigers might hold it for one. Hegwood, fadeaway jumper. That one is off the back of the rim. Rextra with a board. And he puts it up and in, and he's fouled. A chance for a three-point play for James Rexro. And the Tigers are back on top. Basket by James Rexro is good. Spoos cry out from the Joplin fans. <laughs> number four, Quentin Renfro, his first foul. Renfro commits his first. Oh, uh, Rexro. What patience by Rexro to let the defenders leave their feet. He's got eight points. And a chance to make the lead, too. And he made it. 62-60, time out Republic. 24 seconds left in the overtime. The Tigers up by two, back with the finish after this on Republic Tiger Sports. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. We lose this game. Back 24 seconds left. And the Tigers up by two. 62 to 60. Five on the floor for Tim Brown. Brenly Hagwood, Alante Askew, Gunnar Ellison, James Rexroth, and Isaiah Neighbors. Joplin will throw it in. And they'll let him bring it up. Man to man defense for the Tigers. Renfro throws it to Whit Hafer, hands it to All Right. He's double teamed and threw it away to Neighbors. And Neighbors to Askew, who's knocked down from behind with 11 seconds left. He tried on a little uh, split of the double team to make the pass, and he threw it away. Neighbors was there, and all right commits the foul. And down at the other end, we'll have free throws by Alante Askew. And two free throws here would be very welcome for the Tigers. Make it a two possession game. He made the first. 18. Tigers trying to extend the longest winning streak for the program in 30 years. And they can do it with a win here tonight. He made them both. Alante Askew, the senior, four for four from the line in overtime. And a running shot is good by All Right with 6.4 seconds left. And they just do not. Quit coming at you. Down to one, 64 to 63. We'll keep it right here. So you're drawing up a play. And what what are you saying now in the huddle? I, I think I'll let you think about that. Do you here's here's what I'm thinking. Do you think about running something that lets you throw it long. Because if they, even if you don't make the bucket, if you can throw it long and run a couple more seconds off the clock and then hit your free throws, then it makes it that much harder for Joplin at the other end. But that's a bigger risk, obviously. Now I'll let you answer. Yeah, Joplin's been able to do a nice job on these on these inbounds out of the timeouts and being able to trap Tigers and force turnovers. Um, 
water on the floor or not. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I, th I think kind of what you said, maybe we're looking, because it looks like they're about to bring all five into the front court and then face guard the. Yeah. But we, I think what the Tiger inbounding has to remember is that they can run back and forth yep. to get away from that face. And they've got Askew. He was standing out of bounds over here uh, in the corner. He stepped out of bounds like they could make a pass as well. I wonder. Official comes in and. Joplin had six something. on the floor. I believe, oh, I think. that should be it. Well, I think maybe Hafer, want, they wanted Hafer guarding the inbound, so maybe that's. That, yeah, so the Tigers are going to run a football play. They've kinda. got a timeout, but they get it in. And oh, timeout called by Tim Brown before they got it in. So I think if they would have got it in before Tim Brown called, Alante Askew oh. was hit pretty hard. Yeah. And but, but they did call the timeout, yeah. yeah. So that's the last timeout for Republic, I think. Yeah, because they had two. They just called one. And now a full timeout. They can still run the baseline when they... And throw it in after this. 6.4 is going to go back on the clock right now. It's at 6. Yep. And then yep. I, the coaches are Coach Armstrong, and he's going over and talking to the refs about something, and now there's someone, I don't know. The last two timeouts, uh, Armstrong and Coach Brown's cousin. Uh, yep. I cannot think of his name at the moment, but. Coach Brown's cousin have been going over to the refs and like kind of explaining something about, I think he's just reminding them that they can run back and forth. Well, there's an administrator down here talking to the or, officials. Oh, I think maybe they're upset over this student section, how close they're getting. Ah, yeah, to the, maybe to the, so. To the court. Yeah, they are. Checking if they come away from the bleachers, yeah. You can see that the student section over there. And I think once Askew kind of fell down after the last inbound play, he kind of ran got into him, and I, I would imagine that they probably got over him a little bit and had some sense. words. So be ready for a long pass here. Let's see if they send anybody long. They are. I thought they were going to, and it's bounced out of bounds. That ran two tenths of a second off the clock. 6.2 remaining. Ellison to throw it in again. No timeouts now for the Tigers. They've burned them both. They get it into Douglas. He's immediately fouled. 5.4 seconds left. He'll walk to the other end and shoot two free throws. Too bad we don't have Wyatt Woods to that James Rexroke connection here. Yeah. Just find him, find him all the way down here. Yes. Well, I was thinking that with Ellison. <laughs> I, I almost said that, and I was like, no, Ellison wouldn't be the one throwing it. And I was thinking back to the football uh, success. Jordan Douglas at the line. So Jordan Douglas to shoot free throws. Tigers up by one, 5.4 seconds left in overtime. And the free throw is no good. He missed it. Well, there goes what I was going to say, Great which is if I'm the Tigers, I foul play. on the inbound play, but don't really do that now. Hafer checks back in for the Eagles. One more for Douglas. Neighbors getting ready to check in. Douglas made one of two. So Neighbors going to come in. <laughs> Douglas going to check out. No time at, timeouts left for either team. So this 5.4 is going to be this 5.4. Yeah. Bending fouls, of course. But right. Hafer will throw it in to Wright. Wright's got a rush. He's double teamed. It gets away. He loses he goes it. to Allison. And the Tigers win it in overtime at Joplin. 65-63. They get the defensive stop they need. And the winning streak is 13. Back with more after this. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast. But you also want one who will do the job right. In the Republic area, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. 